we're back. And so in the last video, we set up our enemy. And we, our enemy is pretty much done. We've got it all set up looking right and looking nice. Um, one thing that we need to do is put the gun in his hand and make him fire. So that's what we're going to handle this video. So what we need to do is go to our gun. So third person character, blueprints. Uh, I think that it was in pickups and stuff like that, but there's bullets. Let's see if it's in, there's our laser. We need to make another bullet for our um, enemy as well. Let me find this gun real quick. <clears throat> pickups, gun. Okay, so for this gun, I'm going to double click on it first to see what's in here. Da 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 da. Set visibility. Okay. So there's nothing real, not, no real code in the gun. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll make a duplicate. Duplicate. And we'll call it enemy gun. And then we can put BP, I'm sorry. Enemy gun underscore BP. All right, now, on your enemy gun, you can delete all of this code right here because we don't need that, and compile. And in your view, viewport, we don't, we don't need this box either. You can delete that. Uh, what I would suggest to do in the enemy gun is change the colors up. So this one's orange and black, and that was the player's gun. Let's go ahead and change it up for the enemy. So let's duplicate this orange material and let's change the color up. I want it, instead of orange and black, I want it to be like green and black. Okay. Save. And all we're going to do is take that material and put it onto our enemy gun. So double click on your enemy gun, go to the viewport. And on the right hand side in your details, after you click on the gun, you'll see that we can change out this color here. And we're going to change it out for the material 9 that we just made. So you scroll down until you see material 9. Should be right there. Boom. Now they have a green gun. I want this blue part to be red. Perfect. Compile. Save. Alright, so now that you got the gun, let's go ahead and make the enemy bullets. So, go back into your blueprints folder in the bullets, and we're going to duplicate the laser. And we'll call it enemy laser underscore BP. And for the laser material, you can also duplicate that, and we can change the color. So instead of red, let's do blue or green. We can do green. Green's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, so now that we've got the enemy laser and the enemy gun, now we need to put the gun in Bruh's hand. So in order to get the gun in his hand, we need to click on his blueprint. So on your character or your enemy character, let's go into their blueprint um, and let's look at it. So we have all of this stuff going on. Everything looks good. But in the viewport, we need to add a static mesh just like we did with the character. So add a static mesh. And we're going to call this the enemy gun. Enemy gun. All right, and for that static mesh, you can just find that gun that you just uh, that we were ma manipulated in a moment ago, um, and then we're gonna have to put it in the correct socket. So he needs sockets just like we had sockets in the old one. So click on him and click on his skeletal mesh, and you're gonna notice on his right hand, uh, we can come down here and find right hand, and create a right hand socket. So right click on it. Um, add a socket and then you're going to be able to preview your gun mesh in there because you can say uh, for the hand socket add a preview asset and then you search for your gun and your gun will end up in this socket now from here 
uh, actually from here what we can do is we can manipulate the gun so that it looks correct and it's the right size and everything so what we'll do is we'll click on that socket so right hand socket and let's rotate it so the gun is kind of pointing the right direction there and let's make it a little bit smaller or we can change this but let's just make it smaller okay that's about the right size okay now for my alien blueprint I'm gonna take their this gun here and make sure on this left hand side is dragged underneath the mesh that way you can access those um, sockets we just made so while your gun is selected on the right hand side let's look for the socket which is the right hand socket and as you see it'll pop right in his right hand only problem is it's not you know it's kind of awkward so let's compile and save all right so as you see it's a little awkward and we need to fix that so in order to fix that we can fix it straight from here but we need to pause his animation so click on the mesh um, over here on the right hand side you're gonna see animations and you can see the advanced tab just click on pause animation then click back on your gun and let's go ahead and size it up and get it in the right position so mine needs to come down a little bit that's a massive gun and then I can move it right into position here to make it look cool and he needs it way more against his body like that put that in his hand and we should rotate that and that looks very 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 good to me <laughs> it's not perfect but you know what I'm saying on your game I would suggest you go ahead and get it perfect because I'll do that anyways off screen um, anyways after you got that gun there we're not finished we need to add a uh, scene component so add a scene component and make sure that scene component is underneath your gun and we're gonna call this the muzzle okay now move that muzzle right in place where the muzzle of the gun would be because this is where we're gonna spawn the bullets from or in his case it's gonna be lasers but you know what I'm saying it's... another thing that you want to do is make sure that it's coming out straight so this red arrow is going to be telling you how straight it is. Just kind of line it up a little bit better. Let's get it like that. So now that looks like pretty straight. So compile and save. And when I unpulse his animations here, we should see that everything will stick together. Yep. So he's holding the gun. Everything looks good. Compile and save. <clears throat> All right. So now that we've got that in there, we need to write some code for him to actually shoot the gun. So in your event graph, what we can do is we can make a, I mean, real talk, we can make a function. So in your functions here, press a new function and then we're gonna say fire gun. All right, so now for your fire gun, this is what we want to happen. We wanna spawn, um, or actually we want to play basically we're going to do the same thing that the character does when they fire the gun so it's play sound at location and then spawn actor from class um, now we need to get these locations so I believe it's going to be get actor location and then get actor rotation maybe I would say actually let's say get world rotation of the muzzle because we want the sound to play at the muzzle so let's say get world location alright so that's gonna be our location of the sound and the sound that we want to play is the laser sound so I think we called it laser yep and it's the Q okay so the next thing that we need to do is tell the actor where to spawn and again we want it to spawn at the world location so 
what I would do here is I would go ahead and make sure we set it up correctly uh, by looking at your third person character so you don't want it to be too far off from how they shoot unless you do um, but in their event graph you're gonna see their attack here Oops. there you go and when they shoot the gun all of this happens so real talk you could just copy this so copy and we'll go back into our alien character and we'll paste it I can delete this first get world rotation hook my muzzle up to the first one then hook this up to the location and then as we see the world rotation down here is split up so what I would do is I would hook oh, oh okay so for this we're gonna have to split this pin structure there we go and for the location we can hook up the world location for the rotation we can hook up this rotator and that should be good the problem is it's sand uh, the class is not specified so what do we want to spawn that enemy um, bullet that we just made so enemy laser BP compile and save one problem here is that we don't have any targets for the ro world rotation so hook your muzzle into that and hook your muzzle well actually I don't know if you'd have to have hook your muzzle into this last one here um, let's double check it you don't so last one is a standalone perfect so this should fire the gun when we say if you want them to fire two bullets, what we'll do is we'll set that up on the outside. So in the event graph, we need to actually call that fire gun. So here's chase player and attack. And I believe we would have to call it on the chase player and attack. So let's read what's happening. They're going to move to the player or the attack target. And once they get into the acceptance radiance, they'll stop. And then they'll set themselves to attacking player one time. Then they're going to play their montage, and the montage is going to be the aiming montage. After that, they're going to stop their movement immediately, and then their walk speed is going to go to zero. Here, I believe we should call the fire gun. And then what's going to happen is, after that, it's completed. It's going to wait for one to three seconds. It's going to set the attacking player back to zero. And if they're dead, it won't do anything. But if they're false, it's going to release the attack, which will reset this to allow it to run through that code again. Perfect. I think that works. Um, let's test it out. And here's what we'll do. So make sure your character here has all of his stats set on the right hand side. And like control points and everything. When we press play. What will happen is we walk down and find this guy. So the bullet is coming out the wrong way, but he is aiming and shooting at us. So cool. How to fix that? What we need to do, instead of um, the projectile coming out of the laser backwards, we'll, come, we'll make it come out forwards. So go to your enemy um, laser, so in your bullet, enemy laser, and let's check this projectile movement. So right now the projectile movement is going in the X positive direction. We want it to go in the X negative direction, so away from the character. Compile, save. I believe that would change it. If not, we'll have to go and tweak some things on the gun. But let's try this out. We'll also work on his sound later, like so he'll. All right. Perfect. All right, so that's good. Um, the thing is, we have to fix the bullet. Uh, now we have to fix the timing of everything. And I think it is literally a second. So let's go ahead and fix that part. 
So in our content, in our third person, in our characters, in our alien, <laughs> in the alien BP, let's fix this fire gun. <clears throat> so let's make it delay for about a second. It's like, whew, maybe it's even like less than a second. It's like maybe 0.8, I think. I'm good at estimating, by the way. 0.8, fire the gun. And then we can say, shoot, fire the gun again. Let's see if they can make two bullets come out. So we'll press play. And let's test this timing out. Yeah, we're going to get him to react better. Ow. Yes, that is beautiful. It's a little bit slow. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. I would say 0. 0.6, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, and then the fire gun twice is not happening. We'll do something else with that. 0. 0.6. Compile, save. I'll do like a for each loop in the function to get it to fire more. Um, something like that. We'll figure it out. Well, let's just get this timing right, and I think that we'll be done. Alright, I'm going to get that a little bit tighter. So, pretty much that's what I wanted to show y'all. You know, you can just play with your values here and get it as tight as you would like. Um, you know, if you really don't, you know, you want it to move a little bit different, you can switch the order of some of these blocks around. Um, but play with it and get it how you like. But again, that's all I wanted to show you this video is that we can get our guy shooting at us. Um, in the next video, we'll add the damage to that for ourselves and to them. And then that will be literally the end of the character series. So thanks for joining me in this time. I'll holla at y'all next time. Peace.